Hi, this is Alan Fallon's Firearms and Guns Plus More. And today we have the C-Camp. The C-Camp is a little 32 caliber pistol. Now, C-Camp is a company, so they make a, a few different ones that they used to. Uh, this one is basically a handmade, uh, hand-fitted uh, pistol. It shoots 32 caliber ACP. It has the European style mag release on the bottom. It does not, it does lock open on the last round. How do you like that? I didn't think it did. And when you release the magazine, it goes forward. Or if you had a loaded magazine in there, it would go forward. These are very highly sought after little pistols. They were great reputation. Look how small that is. It fits into the palm of my hand. It disappears when I turn my hand around. Um, they're not cheap. These little guns are not cheap. And the only reason C-Camp uh, is not around anymore is because, well, these are not made anymore, is because they were very expensive to make. But people were willing to pay for them because it was at a time that these were made, it was at a time before we had all these cheap 380s out there. And um, the only other gun you can get that was similar was like a Caltech or uh, a Robar. A Robar was like 1200 bucks. These were like five, uh, five 600 um, and the Caltech was like 200 and it was junk. Uh, well, I shouldn't say it was junk. It did what it had to do for, for, its, for what it was, but, it, you know, you get what you pay for. So, this is a little bit tricky to take apart and put together again. In fact, I've never actually taken one apart, but I'm going to give it a go for you guys. We're going to take it apart, field strip it. We're going to clean it, lube it, and put it back together again. And hopefully, I won't make a fool of myself. So, let's get to the workbench and take care of this puppy. Okay, so here we have the LSW C-Camp. Mm. Okay, sweet little 20, 25 automatic. Actually, this is a 32. I think they made it in 32 and 25. It has a magazine safety, so if this is out, you cannot pull the trigger. Um, with the trigger, with that in there, it's a double action only. Very heavy trigger pull. But it's sweet. It's a sweet little firearm. It is a pain in the butt to take apart and put together again. And I'm going to, before I did the video, I went through it once. And yes, it's a pain in the butt. So... You're going to see me struggle with it, and you're going to struggle with it, but after you've done it a few times, I'm sure it gets easier. There's a little knack to it. So, to take this firearm apart, now to take this firearm apart, the instructions say you, look, you pull this back and you slide a round in here like that, and it holds this into the right position in order to put a pin in this little hole. The problem is... That's a 380. I don't have a 32 because I didn't bring one home with me from the shop. So I found a alternative. I'm going to take this cleaning rod, which is almost the size of a 32, and put that in there. And then I can use a little leverage by tilting it like that to line up this hole with the little button in there. So, if you're looking in this hole, there is a little bar that will disappear. Once you're there, you can stick this in here. There is a little piece that goes up and down. And once you get to it, there we go. Oops. I told you it's a pain. Okay, so I'm going to widen the field of view because I can't control where I'm on so and where I'm not. So I have to take the magazine out for this, I believe. There. There was the button. So once I push that button in, 
I can lift Once I push that button in, I can lift up the slide and take it off. This is the button that you're trying to push. See that? That button right there? That's the button that you're trying that pushes in. And that's what you want to get that little hole over. Okay. Now that we have this opened and apart, I see no reason not to clean it. Now there's a double spring in here, and I wouldn't mess with it, but it is not omnidirectional. It is, it only goes one way. So I wouldn't I wouldn't mess with it. And I make sure that this stays in this orientation. So let's clean this puppy up. It shouldn't take long since, by the way, I use Strike Hold, which is an all in one cleaner, protectant, and lubricant. Once I clean a gun with this, I do not have to lube it. I will show you how to lube it in case you do not have a cleaner like this. But no, I do not have to put oil on it if I didn't want to. Okay? And I'm going to clean off the whole gun. I'm going to clean out the the uh, ramp on here. Clean off the barrel. And there was some dirt on here. I don't think this has ever been shot. It's just years of accumulation. Okay, now let's get in here. I'm going to use my stick to get to the places my finger doesn't fit. I'm going to get the battery and underneath the extractor. Make sure I get the rails nice and clean. It's really a railless gun, but it's got one rail, which this piece right here, that button slides into. Okay. And there we go. We have cleaned the C camp. And the only other place I want to get is down the magazine well. Down the barrel. Okay. And I'm going to get a little oil or strike hold on the spring. Now, if you were to oil this firearm, you just take a cloth with three drops of oil and wipe down everywhere that you can see on the gun, including down the barrel and the slide. And that's how you oil the firearm. Now, the double-ended part of the spring goes into here, just like that. Then what we need to do is we need to pull the trigger back to put the slide on. And since it has a magazine safety, we need to put the magazine in. Now, here's the part that I'm going to possibly make a fool of myself. Because I have to get, pull the trigger, 
slide this on and get this button depressed all at the same time. So let's get this started. We're going to line up this bar with the spring. There's no slot or anything. It's just going to go between the barrel and the frame. I'm going to pull the, the hammer back enough where I can get this over it. I'm going to push that down and it went on. Okay, there we go. Wow, I didn't make a uh, fool of myself. And I moved this back and forth until I heard that click into the slide uh, rail. So now it is ready. There we go. With minimal foolishness done by me. I took apart the C-Camp 32, cleaned it, lubricated it, restored it, and put it back together again without, any, without feeling too foolish. Please like and subscribe and join me next time for another adventure in firearms. Thank you. This is Alan with Alan's Firearms and Guns Plus More.